Today, we're gonna be designing my dream tiny house in Blender. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll build it in real life. My boyfriend and I talk a lot about building our first little house. And it has to be little because how is anyone building a house in this climate? We've gone through so many blueprints. We've looked at tiny houses on Pinterest, like everything about it. So I've come up with a blueprint from all of that information that I think would work for us and that I really wanna make in the real world. So this is what the blueprint is looking like. It's 27 square meters or 290 square foot. I, I don't know if that's correct. I don't work in feet, I work in meters. So if that sounds right to you, then yeah, it's tiny, it's quite small. And yeah, so basically we're just going to build this in Blender and then see where we go from there. So let's Let's jump straight into Blender. All right, here we are in Blender. I've bought in the floor print and we are ready to go. So I've just bought in a normal cube and I was trying to play around with the measurements, but I thought, you know what, right with measurements, we don't need them there. So I'm just starting now with the platform for the bed and just kind of trying to work out like what to do to begin with and how to start and how to make everything just as efficient as possible while I'm trying to build this. I went in and I did the structure of the house. Now I'm going in to model the desk and I'm wanting some storage in there. So I just extruded in some vertices so that you can like put your laptop between the desk when you're not using it. Then I went in to try and do the office chairs and I've made some horrific hot office chairs in my time. Horrific. But this one isn't too bad. But I did miscount the vertices and I was feeling a little bit lazy. So some have three and some have two for the legs but I think it looks fine. I subdivided the top as well and just pull up the back of the chair so that you have something to sit on. Put the two little chairs there and at that point I was like is it gonna be enough room for the door so I started to kind of work on the bathroom to see like would there be enough room here I am just doing the shower head it kind of looks like a rain head but it's not a full rain head because I don't like rain shower heads because your hair always gets like really wet so it's not a rain head it just it kind of looks like it but it's not here I am modeling the bathroom counter and doing the bathroom sink as well and then also the bathroom mirror with the medicine cabinet so that you can store stuff in there here I am modeling the toilet I have never modeled a toilet before uh, so this was a lot of fun and it came together very quickly and I was quite impressed with it I tucked in the office Chairs and realized I did in fact have enough room for a door but I was like do I have it as a cavity slider is it like a normal door and I do actually change around the like layout of the bathroom because I don't want to do plumbing on that internal wall so that does change here we are doing the kitchen I'm just doing some kitchen cabinets and I love cooking so we needed the kitchen to be a little bit bigger than like the normal tiny house kitchen here I am just doing the countertops for the kitchen which are gonna have like a nice wood texture to them and then I went in to model the sink bringing in the fridge which is just a cube and then I just extruded in some vertices added a bevel and it's a fridge also added in like a little cabinet on the other side as well because I'd love a place to just put your keys and stuff so love that also did some open shelving on the wall I didn't actually add any top cabinetry because I just didn't really want to here I am doing the bed came together very quickly and then doing the cabinet for the TV which I just subdivided the cube lots of times and then just extruded in a lot of the vertices to add in some shelving where we can put all of our games which looks very very cute then I went in to try and work out like how I wanted everything to be laid out which was kind of tricky but I wanted this like subdivision between the bedroom and the kitchen so if we leave the dishes and we're like laying in bed you can't actually see the dishes so, you know so it's just like a dish like subdivision here I am modeling the couch which is very very tightly packed in there but it's I think two and a half meters long so it, like it's a it's a decent sized couch and a nice and cozy there so I was just trying to add in some texture but I didn't know how to do that and I was fumbling around with it for too long so I just stopped. This part here I've just added in is going to be the like closet so yeah that was the idea of that. We're jumping around really quickly now but here I am going in to add in all the windows where they need to be and I do actually change some of the windows and make them like smaller and put them in a better spot as well. Here I am going in to make everything look correct and look really nice. And now I'm just modeling the little tap and this is the way I do it. I just use a little curve to do it. Now I'm just going in to add a bunch of knickknacks and texturize everything which is very exciting and I love this part of it. Also bought in a tap for the bathroom because I realized we didn't have one in there and here I am just modeling the tiles because I love a mermaid tile and I love mermaid tiles in my bathroom so we've got mermaid tiles. Also added in a nice little tiled floor to the bathroom as well and gave it like a nice little texture. I didn't want it to look like marble. I wanted it to be more of like a concrete texture. Also did this like rough look to the walls. It's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but every time I see the style, I'm like, yes, that is how I want my walls. Now just going in to make my green kitchen. I love a green kitchen or a blue kitchen. Honestly, any kitchen would be nice at this point. And then added in the cork tiling to the floor as well. I 
really like cork flooring because it's really soft on your feet. Went in and texturized some more elements in the bathroom as well. Gave that mirror the mirror look, gave the glass the glass look, and then started texturizing all the other wood elements and trying to make everything not clash. I'm so glad I have this asset library that I've made uh, with a bunch of little assets to use. So I can just bring in the laptops I've already modeled, bring in the coffee mugs, bring in the lights, and it's just already made. So this definitely saves me a lot of time now making the knickknacks. But I didn't over clutter. I wanted it to be like a little bit like minimalist. So not a lot of over cluttering here. Here I am just doing the chairs and I was trying to do like a cushion on top but it didn't look good so I moved on. I tried to find like a nice blue color for the couch because it was looking very like aquamarine and that wasn't what I was going for. So we went for like a deeper rougher blue with that. Also changed up to have a second wood texture so we didn't just have one wood. So we've got like a dark wood and then like a light wood as well which I very very like. Also made the chairs the same color as the couch because matchy matchy is always very cute. And then we went in to add the pillows to the bed and then also did the blanket by just adding a collision modifier to it and then dropping it down so it looks like a duvet cover which looks very cute i very like how it turned out and also a checkered texture because i like checkers so it looks lovely also put my little frog in there because he is definitely living in this dream tiny house with us went in and just texturized the interior of the walls so they went black and then started fixing everything that was just like overlapping or like in the way and then also wanted to do the framing here i am just doing the steps so you can actually get into the tiny house and here i am like working how are we going to like decorate the outside of it. Here I am really playing around with that panel and I end up putting it there and just bringing down a lot of those vertices. As you can see I still need to delete those tiles uh, so I'm just doing this now. Now I'm just putting a supporting beam in the top and I'm also going to put some little lights on it as well so we've got some lighting inside the house. Now I'm just working out like what I want to do with the exterior because it's looking a little bland at the moment so I decided to do like an aluminium look texture to the top of it and I love how this turned out and I also decided to do it to the walls as well and I wanted it to be like a little bit like put together so I could do it like around the windows as well and I just love this watching it back it was so much work but I just I love 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 how this turned out I also did this twice because when I duplicated my file it like deleted a lot of them so this is me doing it once and then I'm just going in and framing the house a little bit more as well and adding in some more wood texture to it and I think it looks so so good I love how this looks I just oh, this is my dream tiny house and I want to build it I want to live here I just I love it so here was me duplicating the file and then going back in to fix all of the aluminium because I don't know why it broke it but I just fix it very quickly then I decided we are going to animate it so I was gonna do like this boolean like animation but it kept crashing so I decided to not do that and instead do an animation where it all drops down on it and this was me honestly just going through the animation process of keyframing everything. So I think we just jump to the tour of the little house. Alright, let's now give you a tour of my dream tiny house that I designed in Blender. So here we are. This is what it's looking like. I love the shell. The shell looks so good. I love this like aluminium look to the top as well and the supporting beams and everything are just, it's beautiful and this like this feature wall. I love it. I love, love, love it. What I'm going to do is just hide the shell so that we can actually see what's going on. Just had some of the lights so that we can actually walk through a little bit easier. As you walk in, we have the kitchen. We have this very cute little fridge, some open shelving, and then just green cabinetry. I think if we built this, we would probably just have like a stove top that you can put away so it wouldn't like be built into the wood. So that's why you can't see it because I imagine it's just like living in one of these little wood drawers here. Here's the lounge. And this is what it's looking from the other side. So we'll just have the TV in there, the switch, and you know, a bunch of little shelves so that we can put all of our games and stuff. I don't know where this pop one is like so far in there. Let me fix that. But that's what the little lounge is looking like. Not a lot to it, but it's very cute. Here is the bedroom. And I just put up this little wall here so you can't see the dishes when you're in bed. Look at that. That's perfect. This little frog here, he's having a good day. He's very cute. And, and I imagine this would be like our invisible like wardrobe. So we would like push on the doors and they would like pop out. Um, and then we'd like store our clothes like in this section here. And then also have the bed lift up so you can put stuff onto there as well because storage is important in something like this. So here we have the office just here, two little seats, our little MacBooks, and then this big desk here, which is kind of what we have already. And then we would just have sections down here 
here where you can put the desktop set up as well and there's just a little gap in here so that you can actually slide the laptop in when you're done with it at the end of the day um, and then here's my mushroom lamp because I love a mushroom lamp moving on to the bathroom which is just in here now as you can see I actually moved everything to this wall because when I was showing my boyfriend he was like we don't really want to put plumbing on this wall here especially if we end up doing a cavity slider here so we just decided to put plumbing on the external wall which I was fine with I just moved everything around a little bit so the shower is here and then we have the toilet and then we have the basin and we have the vanity as well so it's all looking very good I like it I guess whoever sits here is going to like always have the bathroom door open and closing behind them but that's fine that might just be my seat because I do a lot less meetings than my boyfriend does but yeah this is the tour of the little tiny house and let me just put the shell back on oh my god it's so perfect all right now this is when the house is looking like rendered <laughs> And here's what it's looking like animated. I am so happy with how this turned out. This is such a tiny house dream of ours as well. And honestly, if this video gets 10k likes, we'll build it. Like, we'll build it. We'll probably build it anyway, but we'll build it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will now see you in the next video.